Hello everybody, this is Conrad from 8DO, and today I am here to show you the new Glass Marimba. So this is a major overhaul and update to our old Glass Marimba library. We've added a ton of new controls and features, and you can get some really cool sounds out of this. So let's go ahead and just jump right in. So right now I have the Glass Marimba main patch loaded. You'll see we have four articulations, so let's go ahead and I'll just play a few notes. So that was the hard articulation. Let's try out the soft. Muted, which I really enjoy this one. It's great for doing little pulses. And if you've ever been around a marimba in real life, you've probably tapped on it with your fingers. So we said, what the heck, why not sample that? Which has a really cool, unique sound. So in fact, I'm going to go ahead and hit our little T-Link button here, and I'm going to select Muted, and now I'm playing both of these articulations at the same time. So that's really cool, and I'm going to switch Muted to B, and that's for this section down here, which are these tonal controls. So I can change the tone and sound of the A articulation and the B articulation separately. To show this off, I'm going to turn the drive up to 100, very bright there, Turn that back down. And now the muted articulation is going to have all this drive attached to it, but the fingers articulation, because it's A, will be unaffected by that. That's actually a pretty cool sound. And we can go ahead and just reset it by clicking there. Now we have the LFO section. You can use an LFO on the filter, which you will see was just grayed out after I selected it. You can draw in the filter with your mouse, you can click separately, or you can even just hit the randomize button there. And you can change the speed of these LFOs with this little arrow here. So I'm going to turn off the filter right now, and we can do an AB LFO, which you'll notice down here in the AB mix, once I turned on the AB LFO, that got grayed out. And what I can do now, you'll see the curve of this LFO right now, is it will morph from fingers to muted. So I'm just going to play a few notes, probably really sloppy. And you could hear how it morphed. And this is another case where we can just hit randomize and just see what happens. Now with the AB mix, if you don't have the LFO on, you can use this just to tune to fine taste how much of A you want and how much of B you want. So if I go all the way to B, I'll get just muted. And if I go all the way to A, I'll get just fingers. So a great way to find a nice little mix for you. A little tip from me, so keep it between us, it's a little secret. I'm gonna turn off the T-Link and I'm just gonna go with the hard articulation. Really cool little tip here. I like to use the filter here on low velocities. and open it up as I get to the higher velocities. It sort of accents the velocities a bit more, so that's just my little secret, you know, keep it between us. The other secret I kind of have for this library is using the gate here. You can make rhythms by clicking on the outside ring. And I'll go ahead and set the mix to 100. I'll just hold out a chord. And you can hear it creates these pulses, which you can adjust the speed with this arrow. If you set the mix to about 70 to 75 and do the same thing, you're getting kind of a vibraphone sound. So hey, you're getting two libraries in one. You're getting a glass marimba and a vibraphone. Now these effects right here and this equalizer, you can get further control over them by going to the back effects page. So down here you'll see that we also have an ambiences patch. I like to use these as pads, so I'm just going to hold down one note and quickly go through each one. I really like that one. a lot of them have a cool kind of background movement going on with them and you have the same controls here so in fact I'm going to set 
shimmer to B. Let's turn on the T link. We'll, to, we'll choose droplet as well. Let's turn on the AB LFO and the filter LFO. Let's click randomize a few times and let's just hold down a note and see what happened. <laughs> So with just a few clicks, we got some really cool stuff going on there. And speaking of cool sounds, we have also added a ton of presets made within the library. So this one is called Unsettling Atmosphere. And in this case, we use the Ambiences patch. And as you see, all the effects have been preset. And let's just go ahead and listen to that one. And so with the library, you're going to get a ton of these really cool presets. So now let's jump into the little demo piece I've written. And what I want to point out here is everything you're about to hear is the glass marimba. In fact, pulling up the mixer here, you can see there is no external EQ, compressing, reverb. It's just the faders. And I have a little gain plug in here on the master bus just to bring up the volume a bit. But everything about this is glass marimba. So head on over to 8do.com, check out the new Glass Marimba. Super diverse instrument, and it's just super cool. Mm -hmm. 